the first step in installing RAIO is to install the brackets for our CPU cooler. So we're going to need to remove the stock clips from the motherboard. They're each held on with two screws. And then we've got a stud bolt to go on to each corner. You'll notice this has two different sizes of threads and it is the bigger thread that you're going to want to screw into the motherboard. We do get this little spanner in the box and you shouldn't really need it for tightening it, but it can be quite difficult to actually remove these. And it's quite nice that you're just able to put this on and turn it. We get two different brackets for AM4 and AM5 sockets and it just depends on the orientation you want to be installing the pump on your motherboard. So if we set these shorter brackets on, first of all, you'll notice that the two screws for fixing your cooler are going to be at the top and bottom of the motherboard. Whereas if we put the larger brackets on, you'll notice that the two screws for securing the pump to the motherboard are going to be at either side. So you just have to line your AIO up in the case and decide which way the tubes are going to look best with the pump mounted on the motherboard. So you're going to have these side to side, you're going to use the longer brackets. And if you're going to have these at the top and at the bottom, it's the shorter AMD bracket. So I'm going to have it side to side, so I'm going to go in with the longer brackets, and then I've just got a thumb screw to go onto each corner. If you're going to be installing on an Intel motherboard, you're going to need to use the back plate. With the clips pulled all the way to the outer setting, it's for LGA1700 socket. Pushed all the way in, it's for an LGA1200 socket. So you're simply going to set your motherboard over the top of this. You're then going to screw the same stud bolts that we use for our AMD installation on. And then you can secure your Intel bracket in exactly the same place. We're now ready to start working on the I.O. So we can go ahead and set our fans onto the radiator. And we're going to want to make sure our cables are coming out towards the rear of the case. We can then secure our fans into place using the long radiator screws. Next we just need to daisy chain the fans together. And then we get this long extension cable will plug into the end. We can then set our I.O. into place and secure everything into place at the top using the short radiator screws. And then just going to pass the PWM cable through to the back of the case. And at the top of the case, we've got two fan headers together. Our CPU fan header is the lower one. So we'll bring the cable back through and get it plugged in. Then we can add some thermal paste to the center of the CPU. It does come with the cooler. We need to remove the plastic protection from the cold plate. And what I normally like to do is just wrap all the cables up towards the top. Then we just need to line the CPU cooler up with the brackets on the motherboard. And then we need to tighten up the thumb screws. Our AIO pump header is just up here. Not the easiest to get a great shot of it, but we can bring the cable up and get it plugged in. So I'm just going to route our ARGB cable up to the back. And we've got an ARGB header here, so I'm just going to bring it back in through the cutout and get it plugged in. In the box, we do get these clips which can help organize your tubes, but I actually think our tubes are sitting okay without any clips on them. Thank you.